Okay, Paul, thank you. Time now to take a coffee break, and we're starting off with a drawback of taking time off from work. What? Yeah, I want to see if you guys no agree with this. Okay, apparently not everyone is feeling renewed and rested after their vacations. A new survey from my bio source found 50% of workers feel drained after they take time off, and that feeling can last for up to a week. One of the researchers in the study said the most likely cause of this is people not being able to truly disconnect from or stop thinking about work when they're away. Some of the biggest side effects people say they experience from post-vacation burnout post are low energy levels, motivation loss, and feeling sad. You feeling know why they're sad. feeling sad? Because they went that. back to work. <laughs> yeah. like, who made this study up? Absolutely but not. Listen, it also depends, I guess, what you're doing, right? If you're running around with If you're traveling with kids, traveling hard Court. It is not a vacation, it is a trip. Oh. That's what I call it. Oh, okay. So I will okay. say when you come back from traveling with like especially small kids, that is very tiring. But I still want to do it. Right. You know, it's still yeah. a time away that I want. Yeah. And, and then you're thinking, I just used all those days and I didn't get rest. And yeah. now I'm sad yeah. and I'm back at work. Maybe mm -hmm. always good to cut, add a couple days on yeah. the end. The survey just... doesn't say everyone, it says most. I'm I'm in the minority. I feel <laughs> Me great. Too. I yeah. feel great I when feel I come wonderful. back from vacation. This is the only sad feeling is like, ah, gotta wake up at 3 a.m. again. It lasts like a whole day. <laughs> and yeah. then it just yeah. feels like you never went on the yeah. vacation. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> another pastime, going out to a restaurant with more than a couple of friends may take you some extra planning. According to the Wall Street Journal, Tables for more than six people are getting much harder to come by. The newspaper spoke to several restaurants across the U.S. that are refusing to seat larger groups or requiring pricey deposits for reservations. Restaurants say it's getting harder for them to keep up with rising costs of labor and food, and larger groups often spend less money per person and take longer to serve than the average table. So it's not always worth that for having them to take up the time and the space. I mean, I, I can see get it, I guess, but also like that's part of the experience. Like you want right. to be able to take yeah. people you're out. You're complaining now that we're come eating. Then if yeah. we say we have too big of a group and we stop eating, you're going to have incentives for us to come back. And like, if you have too small of a group, they aren't happy about that. Right. Yeah. Plus, no, if, you have happy a, a today. Lot, if you have a couple, you know, if you have like we're a family of five, so if I bring like two other people, it's going to be hard for me to get a table. I'll be the contrarian, just having been a server for so long. When you see the group of six come in, yeah. it probably takes up two of your tables, yeah. which could be two fours, oh. mm. and fours usually spend more. So you're going. I mean, if it's just a numbers game, mm -hmm. then yeah, you're not going to make as much money. But you're a restaurant, you have tables. Yeah. Whoever comes in should be able to fill the tables. Yeah, even better if you're going to make those less bucks money. in the chairs than yeah. have them empty. Six is better than zero. Yeah, that's Very true. exactly. I love when waiter Paul jumps in. Waiter Paul makes some appearances every now and then. Most of them too put like if you. Have have above more than five people or more than six people, they put the gratuity on there. Yeah, so it's, it's already added. It's like fixed on right. there. And make sure you ask, because not every server tells you the gratuity is already included, oh, yeah. hoping for the double 18%. So, oh. Pro tip right there. You're taking uh, we my all consumer know, tips, Paul. <laughs> here's some other tips. We all know you shouldn't talk with a full mouth of food. More manners tomorrow. Or chew with your mouth open, but neither of those is the biggest deal breaker when it comes to food. Okay. Turns out the biggest dining, turn off the table to six. No, just kidding. Uh, is being rude. Oh, to a server. Yes, yeah, I agree with that's that. That's horrible. 60% of people said that in a new survey that, that about our eating habits, but the list goes on, people also do not like it when people lick their no. fingers oh, while eating. Yeah. Well, it depends on <laughs> Who what you're does? eating. <laughs> No, people stop it. Do Double it. If dipping. you're eating chicken wings and you got a little sauce on it, you gonna lick the finger. That's why God <laughs> created the napkin. Nah, y'all better let me live. <laughs> this doesn't apply to Louisiana. I was just about to say. I love that I'm the I'm only the one disagreeing. Like, right, Thank you. Like, then, can I have yeah. a disclaimer here? Some of the biggest differences that cause tension in relationships and issues having to do with food. So be nice to your server. It'll make the whole experience better. Don't lick your fingers. I also don't like when people say, oh, I'm going to have this salad, but substitute this, and I want this instead. Yeah. Like, that's Super embarrassing to me. Yes. Yeah. I, like, hide if I have a friend. I feel like that kind up. of falls in the category of being rude to the yes. server or sending things back without And then I feel like reason. I'm judged, you know, like I'm sitting at the table yeah. with that one person, but now we're the whole table is yes. clouded. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I agree. Those okay. people. Mm -hmm. Well, we're all guilty of putting things off when we don't want to do them, mm -hmm. but do you know why some people procrastinate more than others? They're tired. Anyone? Boredom. Well, <laughs> well, it turns out people who focus on the negative side of any situation are more likely to put ah. the task off. It makes sense, right? That's the finding of a new study from Ohio State University. Researchers discovered that this type of negative thinking makes putting off a task feel more rewarding than actually doing it. Huh. So people just keep putting it off. Hmm. The good news is, though, getting yourself to procrastinate less frequently could be as easy as just changing your attitude about a task. Mm -hmm. But that, of course, is more easily said than done. Maybe it's because people feel like a little sense of control, like... 
I don't have to do that. I can mm. control not doing this thing I don't want to do. Or maybe you, sometimes I'll tell myself like, I'm going to do that tomorrow because it's going to take this amount of time and I have more time tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and you don't do it. And then the next day you put it on again. You know, like sometimes though, it takes away the anxiety. Just do it. Like then it's over. Once you yeah. start it, you're okay. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. that first step. Like even yes. in writing a script, that's once true. you get that first line out, sure. the rest can flow. And I find that that's the same for tasks that I've been putting off. I just got to attempt it. Mm -hmm. It's true. And then you're like, oh, that only took five minutes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even though you allotted 30 minutes or two yes. hours. You guys have good tips. I have nothing to add. <laughs> I was just going to say, what, be is, a what does Waiter Paul have to say about this one? <laughs> Don't lick your fingers. <laughs> you know what? I, this is not changing. Y'all know I am who I am. Let's go eat some I'm chicken wings. You. I'm saying you. I'm saying I'm talking okay. to the you people. You get what you get that's and you low, don't get upset. That's, 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 that's actually low on my list. That's way you. below being rude to the server. Exactly. I'm nice to the server. I'm a little uncouth, but I'm nice to the server. <laughs> that's, that's today's, today's coffee, coffee break. break. <laughs> <laughs> CBS News Los Angeles. Your local news. Streaming wherever, whenever.